What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 YouTubers who are hidden in commercials. Now we posted YouTubers hidden in both TV shows and movies, which are two extremely popular videos on our channel, so commercials is I guess a part 3 in this series. One thing that I found out though is that there are so many more YouTubers in commercials, so if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, I'll do 10 more YouTubers in commercials. Anyways with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 5. Casey Neistat Now the Oscars are a celebration of the most star-studded, high-budget kind of films possible, so it was a pretty cool idea to run a commercial during it celebrating exactly the opposite. Samsung wanted to run an advert talking about how its technology allowed everyone to make films, pretty much talking about YouTube culture directly, so there was pretty much no other choice to star in it than Casey Neistat. Decked out in an expensive looking suit but standing with a mic in the middle of an empty parking lot, Casey managed to parody the Oscars in a really clever way. With YouTubers becoming more and more a part of the mainstream, this commercial made a really important point about the difference between new and classic media, and showcasing it during the Oscars was a perfect fit. Casey even made a video with the behind the scenes from the shoot, so he clearly really believed in the message. All in all, it's just really well done, and if YouTube award shows ever become as big as the Oscars, I could think of no one better than Casey to host it. Allow me to introduce the rest of us. We're the makers, the directors, and, and the creators of this generation. We don't have big award shows or huge budgets or fancy cameras, but what we do have are our phones and duct tape and parking lots and guts. And we have ideas we need to share. We know it's not the size of the production that matters, it's what you make. We don't create because we have to, we create because we love to. And we've captured billions of moments from different angles, for different reasons, for millions of viewers. But with one thing in common, when we're told that we can't, we all have the same answer. Watch me. Thank you. Number 4. SS Sniper Wolf Gaming YouTubers and kids reality TV isn't exactly a combination you would expect, but it's there whether you think it makes sense or not. SS Sniper Wolf was brought in as a guest judge for Sour Patch Kids' prom project. And that's basically a show that gives young teens six weeks to compete in throwing the perfect prom for themselves. The week that she helped host is all about arriving to prom in style, so she got to watch as these competing kids try to create the perfect prom entrance on a practice red carpet. Leah had to watch as the pairs were given masks, wigs, and gloves, and told to walk their way into their imaginary big day. Some modeled, some did acrobats, and some walked, and Leah was given the job of helping to judge the winner. When that was done, the teams were given customizable golf carts to create their perfect prom ride, and Leah was there to offer both critique and advice. It might not be the most stereotypical commercial, and I'm not sure how well it manages to promote Sour Patch Kids, but Leah at least seems to be enjoying herself. Maybe this is the beginning of more YouTuber reality show appearances, even if Leah's appearance only lasted for a 7 minute mini episode. Perfectly for your move. Yeah. And for the top, we was going for a like, shiny, elegant night look. All right, nice job, guys. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hello, hey. blue team. Hey. What'd you guys do? So we wanted to keep it somewhat simple. Okay. Because we really want us to be the center with our yeah. dresses and what we're wearing. Okay, and we so love balloons. I love the balloons. Me too. We were planning on doing more, and then like the helium wouldn't go as fast oh. as I'd like to. <laughs> I think the clock was going faster than the helium. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Good job, guys. Thank you. Hi, red team. What's up? Hello. Hi. This is lovely Laura. She is going to be your chauffeur tonight. Just relax. She will do all the work for you. And she has her star earrings right here because she's a star. Oh, so <laughs> Number three, Faze Blaziken. Professional athletes do commercials for health foods all the time, and with esports becoming so huge, it only makes sense that gamers are getting their own ads too. FaZe Blaziken was the perfect choice for a commercial about the energy drink G Fuel, as he lives in the FaZe house with a bunch of other gamers and is pretty much constantly working. The ad shows him going through the motions of picking up more G Fuel and comparing him to another anonymous gamer who prefers a different brand. The message is obvious, as the gamer has to drive for a long time and ends up all sluggish and angry, while Blaziken orders online and is pretty much back to his day in no time. Now this isn't a new idea, as the YouTube series Video Game High School also featured semi-professional gamers getting endorsed by products. And I'm pretty sure this isn't the last time we'll be seeing it in real life either. 
With YouTubers becoming more and more like celebrities every day, it's pretty much a given that in the future they'll be targeted for commercials even more. With that said, this is a pretty well executed ad, and at least it's for a product that Blaziken's audience might find interesting. Number 2. Chief Pat YouTubers have been making sponsored videos about apps for a really long time, so an app putting a YouTuber in their commercial is probably the next logical step. Now, Chief Pat only really cameos in this Clash of Clans commercial, as Liam Neeson is undeniably the star of it. But having a YouTuber there where only his fans would notice is still a pretty cool touch. The commercial follows Liam getting beaten by another player and launching into full Hollywood revenge mode before Pat's character, acting as a barista, breaks his monologue. Now what's really cool about this is that Chief Pat's channel focuses pretty much entirely on mobile games, and he's been making videos playing Clash of Clans for a long time. The fact that Supercell let a big YouTuber in their community be in a commercial is pretty cool, but it must feel really good to be in a commercial for something that you've been promoting on your own platform all along. Either way, it's a really awesome little nod to the YouTube fanbase the app has gathered, and given that Clash of Clans run a lot of pre-roll ads on the site, it's a smart business decision too. I don't know you, Big Buffy Boy 85, but if you think you can humiliate me and take my gold, think again. Oh, I am coming for you with lots of barbarians and dragons. I can't wait to destroy your village while you beg for mercy, but you will get no mercy. I will have my revenge. Liam? I have a scum for Liam? Uh, over here. It's, uh, Liam. Regret the day you crossed Angry Neeson 52. Angry Neeson, Angry Neeson 52. <laughs> Number 1. Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link have been on YouTube almost since the very beginning. And given that they managed to come up with the funniest YouTube commercial on this list, the experience is definitely paying off. The paid Wendy's promotion had everything people love about the two guys' channel, from hilarious chemistry to fourth wall breaks to a totally out of the blue rap. The commercial follows the pair overhearing some girls talking about the importance of honesty. And uh, that's when they come clean about all the lies they've told in song form, only there's a really cool twist at the end. Paid videos are everywhere on YouTube these days, but this might be one of the best promotions I've seen in terms of not annoying your audience. The video is filled with fun little jokes and probably work as a video on their channel even if the advert wasn't included. However, it's the way they choose to reveal it's a commercial that really takes it from good to great. I thought it was really funny, so we'll go ahead and play a short segment from it now. The lobby passing through you said hey how you doing i said pretty good man and you well that wasn't true i was actually doing pretty bad having just received some unfortunate news from my dad he had invested my inheritance in his new business plan that plan was taking teams to the prominent fleet of used minivans so at that moment i didn't really care how you were doing and i don't remember your name that's why i called you man the other night at midnight you called me on the phone you asked me if you woke me up but i said no but the truth is, I was in the deepest sleep of my life Having the most realistic dream I was flying In the International Human Flying Championship Your sister was there and was about to give me a kiss That's when you called me and asked me how to say Kanaochi Listen closely, it's Gnocchi I'm just being honest, On our recent romantic night out You broke the silence by asking What are you thinking about? I said how much I love you But that's not true I mean, I do love you I just don't think like you do And there's our video on the top 5 YouTubers Who are secretly in commercials 
If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top 5 or top 10 idea, feel free to use your extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.